Hi, I'm Nanette Floor. I'm a fine artist based in New York. Welcome to my studio. Ever since I was a young child, I loved drawing and painting. And ever since, my life's goal has been to create beautiful art. Graduated from Rutgers, and I also um, graduated from the School of Visual Arts. But it was really at the John Murray School of Art that I learned drawing, painting, and picture making skills. John Murray had it an um, a school that he set up like the ateliers in Paris, where you can go every single day and draw and paint from the model. And I would go early in the morning and I would stay late at night and I would um, draw. I learned all different techniques from underpainting to how to take a painting from be the beginning stages and carry it all the way through to the end. He had casts set up that you could copy from, drapery, and he really stressed the importance of um, the old masters and how strong all of their compositions were and how to use that in your own picture making. Well, to me, portraiture, really, I'm very drawn into the human emotions and, um, and to people, and I feel like everyone has a story to tell, so I was really pulled in, the, the portrait aspect really grabbed me, and I feel it's such a wonderful discipline. Of all the disciplines, I, I find it the most appealing because it combines all aspects of painting from landscape and still life, you incorporate that all into the portrait with the added challenge of conveying somebody's essence and their, their personality. I strive to get a compelling likeness, but in addition to that, I really wanted to convey a sense of their personality. I want it to be as if the person was really right in front of you. And um, there's different ways to express that. It's all about selection and emphasis. What really draws you in about that person? What do you want to say about them as, a, as an artist? And it could be from the way they hold their head, a, a tilt in their head, um, or if there's somebody who looks you directly in the eye. It could be the eye level, the vantage point. It could be also with certain props you might give them. My clients run the gamut from chief executive officers of companies to a young couple starting out and wanting to capture their children's youth. The first thing I do is I work out all these different color notes. And this is really just to show my big idea. I then work out the head study from life. And I also always show the client a detailed drawing for, um, for likeness. And then once I have all those elements, I know I have what I need, that I can go to my studio and finish the painting. It's paramount to have a good understanding of colors and shapes and composition. Every great painting starts with a great idea. None of the old masters ever copied what was in front of them. They all had a unique vision and they arranged their shapes to help show that off, to help explain that. I recently started teaching a portrait painting class at the Art League of Long Island, and I really, really enjoy it. It's one thing to be able to paint, but I believe teaching is an art in and of itself, so I was a little nervous on how I would um, do at it if I'd be able to convey to my students the, all of the information, but when I'm there in front of them, I seem to be able to point out to each student what they need to do to get to the next level. And I really, really enjoy it. And it's, um, I'm learning so much myself by, by teaching all of these things. And I feel it's my way of giving back to the profession. Got involved with the Met, Metropolitan Museum of Art with their copyist program in the early 90s. It was just an unbelievable experience. I would wake up every day really inspired to go there. I did a lot of research for each painting before I began, and I went there. The first painting I did was Vigie Lebrun's Madame Grand. I also painted Rembrandt's Herman Doomer, Lawrence's The Calmady Children, and um, Rubens' Portrait of a Woman, and Van Dyck's Head Study of an Old Man with a Beard. As an artist, I find myself constantly inspired by new things, and it can range from, from of course, the old masters and looking at this beautiful painting, and also I look at my children's faces. I sit there, they could be eating dinner, and I notice just the artist in me. It's as if I take snapshots and I freeze the moment and I see them as paintings. I look at my son as he's eating and I see his cute little cheeks and the, the, the rosy cheeks and then the cool areas. And um, 
I can go outside and I just see the clouds and I feel the warm breeze on my face and I'm just constantly inspired and I want to tell a story. I want to tell my story and that is my contribution. Well, the first thing I would recommend is finding a great teacher. That's really important. Somebody who has the knowledge and the skill and also can explain it because art is a visual language. So um, that's paramount. I also recommend drawing and painting from life as much as possible. And it's, it's not always possible once you're working, but if you did, you have that. It's one more tool under your belt. You have that knowledge, you have that information. You know the color shifts that are happening in, in somebody. So you're that much more confident.